Welcome to Cachada Casino and Resort in Kinder, Louisiana. For the short par four, Nota Begay the third Junior Golf National Championship presented by R1. Year three of the National Championship. First ever all boys final. Four age groups a moment ago at 18. Charlie Woods, Nota Begay this for 54 holes under par. Oh, what a special week for Charlie. Great to see him playing a lot more competitive golf. Shot his career low score to qualify for this event and even better to have dad on the back helping him make some key decisions. Yeah. Look at this. Much more on Charlie and Tiger later on in the program. An incredible moment for sure. Speaking of moments, how about this shot from Evan Liu at the fourth? Now coming at it from the right part of the fairway. Great angle here. See if he can dial it up. And boy, does he. So Lou trying to make a charge in the final round. Boys 12 to 13. That for Eagle. This for a chance for birdie. Yeah, so good with the iron play. You get a short iron in their hand, and more often than not, they'll knock it tight. Yeah, Lou four under on the day. This now his final hole, the par 5 18th risk reward nota. Great look at this second shot here. Most players are able to reach this green in two. Evan going right at it with that hybrid. Does a nice job of finding the green. So he made eagle at four. He'll have a chance for eagle at his last and maybe, just maybe, puts a pressure on this guy, Cole Kim. And it's gonna take quite an effort after opening rounds of 64-66. And here at the 15th, trying to add another one, Ryan, and gonna have a great chance for that. Yeah, he'll have a chance to get it to 15 under par. What an event it has been for Cole Kim chance for him to win the biggest event of his young career. And just beautiful control here with the irons. Look at that distance right on the number. He's ranked 30th in the world in his class of 2026. Does it with the putter. Well, at this level, if you're building a big lead, you're making some putts. Just give it a little shake on that flag stick. It'll drop down to the bottom. Trying to put a little pressure on Kim, our defending champ from a year ago. Brandon Seip from Virginia. That's a birdie. Oh, what a great young man, Ryan. Had a chance to visit with him throughout the week. Just loves being back at Cachada and is putting up a very respectable defense. So birdie at 11 to nine. This now, we saw Kim make birdie at 13. Seip makes bogey, it's a two-shot swing. So a look now, where we sit, boys 12 to 13. A commanding lead for Cole Kim. Evan Liu does have that eagle putt, chance to get it to double figures at 18. Let's switch now to the boys 14 to 15. What a story this is. Misha Golod, he's a refugee from the Ukraine. David Ledbetter brought Misha to the United States as the war got underway. And this player, Noda, is the full package. He really is. He's very balanced in his approach. Nice length off the tee. And of course, you got to hit some good irons and make some putts to build up a lead. And that's what he's done this week. And trying to get some pressure from Sterling Hurd from Austin, Texas. You can just see the quality in these golf swing. These players putting in hours and hours of work and they all want to produce outcomes like that. Yeah, absolutely. Luke Ringcamp from Palm Desert, California. How about the short game around the green? Oh, it's beautiful. The surfaces at Cachada and Casati Pines, just wonderful. You see him clip that right off the tightly mown grass. So let's get back out live to Ringcamp now. Chance for another birdie at 14 to get it to five under. A bit of a slow looking putt here, Ryan, coming up the hill, gonna work a little to his right. Big time to five under within three shots of the lead. Just a reminder, 12 to 13, 14 to 15 age groups are on the course still to come. The 10 to 11 and 16 to 18. If you made it to Cachada, you're born to win. From the first day I stepped in, I knew I would heed the call. I was destined for glory, rise above and never fall. This is the moment I've waited for all of my life. This is my legacy, this is my moment to rise. I was born to win.
was born to win. NBC Sports welcomes you to the short par four. Nota Begay, the third boys junior golf national championship presented by R1 Companies. One hour north of Lake Charles in southwest Louisiana is the town of Kinder. Our backdrop today where Casati Pines Golf Club at Cashada Resort hosts for the third time. It's the final round where for the first time, the boys are competing in four different age divisions, 10 to 11, 12 to 13, 14 to 15, and 16 to 18. 150 boys competing this week, 31 different states represented from six different countries, 54 holes of stroke play competition for a national championship. I'm Ryan Burr with four-time PGA Tour winner, Nota Begay the third. Nota, an absolutely stacked field this week. Some of the very best players in the country, but everybody had to earn their way in. It's always been important to you. Why? Well, I'm so proud of the way that we've structured the qualifying process. Anybody has a chance to play their way to Cushada, and I think that's the fairest way to conduct some of these events at the, in these various age groups so they can come here, showcase their talent, but be able to earn their way in a variety of different fashions. How about the golf course? Cassati Pines rolling a 13 today. What do you expect? It's a great test from Tita Greens. A lot of the players are enjoying themselves and taking advantage of these awesome conditions. Well, awesome is the key word, Noda. Very little winds. We know it can get windy at Kinder. Not today. 80 degrees, perfect scoring conditions. This is San Antonio's Levi Keith. Yeah, you can see the water in play, short and right of the green. So you want to take that out when you make your club selection and try and access this whole location cut just over that greenside bunker. He'll let that to get to three under. Back to 18 now. Evan Liu for Eagle. Nota Hill have that to post nine under. Little birdie putt at the last. Uh, great run today. Five birdies, an eagle on the card. Nice round. Uh, just going to come up a little bit short. Yeah, Evan ranked fifth in the world for the class of 2027. He showed it today with a round of 66. Now back out to Hurd. Got to five under with a birdie at 15. Now at the par three, 16th. This is one of those hole locations. If you can get the right number, carry that front bunker, you can get in there tight as Sterling does nicely. Yeah, he'll have a chance to get it to six under. Sipe now. Bogey at 13, needs this to get it back to nine. You can tell a bit of a homemade putting stroke there, but boy, is it effective when he gets it on track. 2027 Lawson Ford from West Palm Beach, Florida. Qualified from the Florida Regional at Mission Inn. Drivable par four today for most players. Electing to lay just a little bit back and try and tack it with a wedge. Very nice. Nota, you shot 59 in your professional career. Cole Kim's in that kind of zone. He really is. I mean, you can tell with those great opening rounds and following it up with another great performance today and just put another one on the card. You know, one of the great things about Casati Pines, we now have the short par four drivable 17th and then the Wilson 18th hole where eagle is possible like that from Matthew Wilson. It really is and it's gonna be interesting coming down the stretch for the leaders, whether or not a player can take advantage of that 18th just like Wilson did there. Yeah, Levi Keith. His chance to get to three under and five back from downtown. Ooh, that was a quick walk, Ryan. Got that one online early and knew it was going down. Now back to Ford. Chance to get it to six under in the 12 to 13. That's the place to putt from. Just see how smoothly these greens are rolling today. You get it in tight, players feel like they can knock down putts. Sterling Hurd. Very little margin for air here in the 14 to 15 if he's going to track down Golot. Now it's going to, you, you can't really let those opportunities go by the wayside, Ryan. Not when you're trying to track down the leader. We've seen the Eagles at 18. This is the short par four drivable 17th. Two putt birdie for Finn Watson. 
but the risk reward at 17 and 18 should provide some drama. And speaking of drama, no one has provided the drama that Tiger Woods has. 15 time major champ, not hitting shots this week, Noda, on the bag. Well, I'm talking to Tiger this week. He's thoroughly excited to be here in the caddy role and watching Charlie convert and play at a competitive level. Shot his career low round to qualify for this event. And you can see why he is trending upwards with his golf game. Just starting to get a little bit more acclimated to the tournament environment. Beautiful technique here. Nice shallow angle of attack. You can see the outcome is just what he wants. No, to his first real trip onto the national stage. What do you think this week meant to Tiger and Charlie? Well, it's the toughest field that Charlie's ever played against, and it was a great time to, number one, spend a little bit of daddy-son time together, but also get Charlie some more critical tournament experience. Beautiful move there. Critical experience that you talked about, so a chance to see the very best kids in the world at his age group. How close is he? Absolutely. He held his own, put a lot of good shots together, just had a few too many mistakes, a handful of double bogeys on the card this week, which held him back. But overall, he's got to be very excited about next summer. And you knew it would be a red shirt on Sunday. Under par for the week, Charlie Woods. And how about the experience for the players in these three days that got to play with Charlie Woods and have Tiger on the bag? How about Spencer Mills' moment here? Man, to be able to do that in front of the big cat, that's something that he will never forget. Uh, I think some of the dads were more nervous on the first tee than the players in getting to shake Tiger's hand. And yeah, when we return, Charlie and Tiger talk to Noda about their experience for the week here at Kishana. The short par four, Noda Begay the third Junior Golf National Championship presented by R1 Companies. Real estate reimagined. Powered by Wilson, the original golf brand since 1914. Cachada Casino and Resort, Louisiana's best bet. We're the largest brokerage in the state of New Mexico and the most productive. And now we're at a place where what we've created is ready to expand into other markets across the nation. We're evolving into a platform-based brokerage that virtually anyone can own and operate. So our platform is very unique in that a single individual can open an R1 branded brokerage and we supply not only all the technology and support but the entire employee base as well. Knowing that we have been able to open the door and help some other kids that maybe otherwise would not be able to participate and help bring them into golf, they've really accomplished something special and we're so glad to be a part of it. Next week, don't miss the PNC Championship on Golf Channel and NBC. Set to play for a third consecutive year, Charlie and Tiger Woods. Nota caught up with Charlie and Dad after their final round. Tiger, you attended many junior tournaments with your father. What was it like to share this experience with Charlie? Well, it's, it's hard to describe because it's so uh, amazing to be able to be you know, with Charlie out there and, and fight through it together and do it as a team. It was incredible. It, just the fact that he earned his way into the event by shooting his you know, lowest round he's ever shot. So he earned his way in here and then he thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, it was a lot of fun for both of us. And Charlie, being out there with your father, what was the biggest thing you learned this week having him walk you through certain situations? Well, the biggest thing was, was just clean up the, the big numbers. I think that's the main thing. And then just kind of get the misses a little tighter, practice more, and then just, yeah, just have fun. And let's be honest, Charlie, let's give Dad a caddy rating here. What skills <laughs> does he need to work on? Have a little fun. Oh, he forgot my putter a few times. Um, <laughs> But that's really it. That's really it. And Tiger, how much better are these kids than we were as juniors? 
Oh, uh, in, infinitely better. It's just amazing to see the depth of talent, and the margin has gotten so much smaller than when we played. These kids are shooting like numbers in the low 60s, which was unheard of when we, when we grew up playing. Well, thanks for being here, guys. Thank thanks, you. though. And then back out on the golf course with Lawson Ford. Chance to get it to seven under with a birdie at 18. But just going to try and leak a little to his right, and he keeps it on line. Great pace. Woo! Yeah, gives a little fist bump as well. Rounds of 70, 68, and 68. Big high five from Dad. Uh, so, so great to see these guys share this experience together. Check in on Misha Golod leading the 14 to 15 age group by three. Herb coming on strong. This is Golod at 15. Uh, just putting on a clinic. Made 10 birdies through the first two rounds and just got complete control over his game right now. Good distance control. Yeah, clinging to that three shot lead, Noda. Sterling Hurd, Luke Ringcamp trying to make a run. This is Ringcamp at 15. He's got the right holes ahead of him to make a charge. He certainly does, and he's got to take control at this point and start shooting right at these hole locations, and that's a good start right there. And he'll have to make that. Let's move to the 12 to 13, where the story has been one man. Cole Kim on a mission from the get-go, Noda. All right, just keeping the pressure on. See how he handles this whole location. Tucked just over a front right bunker. And that is a smart percentage play there, Ryan. Hole high took all the trouble out of play. The leader in position for yet another birdie. Cold shared with us his keys to success. My grandpa was a um, big factor and um, he was also a great motivator. And some pieces of advice he gave me were um, to not give up and to always have fun because this game can be uh, very stressful at some times, but uh, you want to try to relax and calm down and focus. Now live with Owen Conieris from Glen Allen, Illinois. Some great advice there from Kim. Got to stay relaxed. That'll relax you a little bit when you start knocking down a few putts. Yeah, Conieris moving up that leaderboard. Great final round. So at seven under is Owen. Now at the short par four, drivable 17th with Sterling Hurd. Uh, this is what you see from this younger generation. Everybody just wanting to take dead aim at this short par four here. And he comes up just a bit short, but great angle coming up through the opening of the green. And yeah, wonderful position. 17 and 18 provide so many chances. Sight from off the green. Yeah, he was definitely trying to knock that in. Running out just a little bit, so just a touch more work to do for Brandon. Not his best week. Back to our 14 to 15 leader, Misha Golod. Looking for a wire to wire performance this week. Just trying to lag this in there tight. Easy tap in, make everybody else come get him. He'll stay at eight under Nota, but we know the short par four, drivable 17. We've seen Eagles at 18. No lead is safe at Kasadi Pines. What an amazing story for the boys 14 to 15 leader, Misha Golod. Golf in Ukraine is rather small. We only have about five courses. My dad brought me into the game when I was like six. He was just trying it out with his friends as, as a hobby and I picked it up, I liked it. When Misha received a personal invitation from David Ledbetter to attend his Orlando Academy, it was a game changer in the truest sense. It was a shock because for him to just reach out to my email, he never met me before, was pretty special. I mean, everything you know, just turned around basically. My everyday life in Ukraine a year ago is nothing like it is right now. I'm playing golf basically every day, um, chasing my dreams. But his family is never far from his mind. They are in Kiev. Um, I mean, I, I keep in touch. I call them four or five times a day. Obviously, I miss, I miss Ukraine, I miss being home, so it's, it's, not, it's not been easy, but I hope when the war is over, I can see him again. And just what a tremendous reflection on the game of golf, Ryan. Ledbetter Academy, David Ledbetter extending such a gracious offer to this young man, and boy, is he taking advantage. And back out to the action now with Kyler Heath. Coming from just off the green, got to really focus on your speed control here. From Hillsborough, California. Now it's ring camp. Needs this to get it to six. Nice flat looking putt here. Can go right at it. Not going to be happy with that one, Ryan. That pressure starting to mount. 
Back to our leader, 12 to 13. Cole Kim for yet another birdie. Come on. Boy, right. The hole is looking big to Kim. And the lead continues to grow. It is a Cole Kim coronation at Casati Pines. Are you ready for the challenge? A tough course. A great field. At stake? The ultimate prize. A national title. Registration is now open. For the 2023 Short Par 4. Nota Begay Junior Golf National Championship. Register before January 1st for one of the regional tournaments. And you'll get a discounted rate. Go to jgnc.org. And sign up today. I'll see you next year. The Cachada Tribe of Louisiana is proud to host the best junior golfers in the world once again in Allen Parish, Louisiana, not far from their tribal lands. We're just one big community here in a small part of the country. We want to be uh, a big voice. We want to be loud, but we want to do it for the right reasons. With over 900 members broken up into seven clans, the family unit is the cornerstone of Cachada life. And it's that value system they hope to share with the world. It really is just a microcosm of what the Cushada tribe represents, what we hope to give to our customers that come out to visit, that they see the culture, they see the traditions, they see the respect that we have for each other, for our elders. Very thankful and very proud to be a part of that. We are the descendants of our ancestors and we will be the ancestors of our descendants. It is our job at every generation to continue this work, our tribal traditions, our language, our culture, so that we will never disappear. And Ryan, what an honor for me to host this championship on a Native American property. Chairman Cernick and the Cushada community have been wonderful hosts this week. Yeah, they couldn't be any better, we know that. Back out live now, ring camp, three back of Golod at the par 316th, pressure time. Now we've seen throughout the day that this green is receptive. Eve, you can get that ball online, and he is not going to be happy with that. Pulled that left, but still found the putting surface. Long birdie putt. Sterling Hurd also three off the lead at the short par four, drivable 17th. Came up a little short. Now what a great opportunity, though, Ryan. Great angle coming up the hill. It's online. Oh, nearly goes down. Wow, that for an eagle two instead. He'll have that little tap in to cut the lead to two. So the pressure mounting now on Golod at the par three. He knew why he was talking to that. That was never online. Needed a little bit of help. Lucky not to find the water. Tough bunker shot coming up. So the lead to two and Golod in trouble at 16. Also in the final group is Finn Meister. Been a tough day. Here he is. Also at 16. Yeah, 54 holes. Long event for these players. Still has a chance to put some red numbers on the card coming in. And from Tucson, Arizona. Top 100 in the world. Now back to Levi Keith. Trying to get it to four under. You see that ran out of speed and never had it quite high enough. Back to the 12 to 13 division. Coney Aris at 18, his third. Ball lucky not to find the water. Plenty of green to work with, though. And that is some nice touch. He'll have that little tap in to get it to eight under. Meanwhile, Kyler Heath also an opportunity here now at the short par 417th. He's got to dial in this wedge number. Hole cut on a little mini shelf in the back part of this green. Asking for it to spin does not. Will be coming from just off the green. Now back ahead at 18 now. Arjun Samani from deep. This for Eagle. Ball just found the front edge. Gonna take a good effort on the speed control here. This needs to climb a touch. Oh my God. Uh, leaves it on the doorstep. Tap in birdie to finish it three under. Great week for Arjun. 
Back live now. Cole Kim just dissecting Kasadi Pines. I mean, you can see coming from the fairway, so doing what it takes when you're in the lead. Not his best iron shot there, but still on the green. Playing in that final group, the defending champ, Brandon Sipe. It was a year ago where he had the huge lead on the final round. Yeah, coming out of that primary rough, you can see the ball run out. The difference between coming from the rough versus the fairway ball is going to run out just a touch. And maybe a chance to pick up a shot there as he reflects on his championship one year later. It was really amazing to win at the 16 under par. My putting and everything was just going right. And I really was just hoping for top five because it was all really a lot of good players last year. And I didn't expect to win, and then I won. I really like the award ceremony. The um, pine needle basket was really amazing. And this year, um, I had three jam fingers. So I was just happy just to get here again and get to play again. And Sipe on our incredible list of past winners. Yeah, you have Quinn Yost, last year's winner, started out the season number two slot for Nebraska. Brandon Valdez, impressive win at the Isleworth Intercollegiate at 10 under. And Nick Gross signing his letter of intent to play at Alabama. All right, back live now with Golod. The lead is two. He's in some trouble here, Noda. Yeah, this is a bad lie. You have to have good technique. And you could tell short backswing, not steep enough, way too shallow, just blades it over the back. So a little bit of trouble here for Golod. Yeah, how about this? The door is ajar. 14 to 15, the lead is two. We'll be back to Cachada Casino and Resort after this. Golf Tech hosted a long drive competition as part of the sponsor and practice round festivities. It was really cool, all the technology they had and all the cameras on me, and so it was really cool. Just how it tracks your ball and your swing speed. I love how it shows you everything and how far you carry, total, stuff about your swing. It really helps a lot. Each player got three chances to qualify for the long drive finals, where the longest hitters in each division had two swings to reign supreme. I just tried to have fun. I had low expectations, and I ended up winning, so pretty happy. 249! I was a little free and swung as hard as possible and got 350. The winner of each group received a Golf Tech driver fitting and a driver of their choice. Welcome back to the short par four. Nota Begay the third junior golf national championship presented by R1. Nota, you and Tiger were the core of the great Stanford teams in the 90s, alongside Will Yanagasawa, who is out with Cole Kim now. Cole looking to just cozy this up there. It's got just a little bit on the left side. Great to have Will out there on the call in that 94 National Championship run. Shot a final round 64 to bring it home for the Cardinal. Now Cole Kim's on his way to bringing it home. Back now 14 to 15 boys. The door is ajar. Let's see if Finn Meister can't make a birdie here at 16. Expecting it to come back to his left. Just ran out of pace. Gosh, that was right on line. Brandon Sipe, the number one ranked amateur for his age group, just not able to get things going this week. And another putt that burns the edge. He'll stay at eight under. Now this earlier note to things unraveling just a bit in the 14 to 15 age group for Misha Golod. And certainly not getting easier. That is a tough lie right there. You can see the green growing right back into him. And just does not evaluate it well enough and still has a very long putt for his bogey. Back live now. This to keep a one shot lead. Seems like a minute ago the lead was three. And that is how you do it. That is showing some grit right there. 
huge bogey putt from Golod, and the lead stays at one as he goes to the short par 4 17th. Meanwhile, boys 12 to 13, Kyler Heath at the short par 4 17th. Just running out of pace. Now ring camp, he could ill afford a bogey here. Very poor approach shot for ring camp, but he's able to capitalize with that great little par save. Yeah, you can see a lot of fist pumps from ring camp. He's fired up. Back to Sipe now. Talked about those jam fingers note. It just hasn't been his week. And uh, that's unfortunate and just kind of tells you it's been a tough go for him in his defense. And nothing has been tough for Cole Kim this week. Just been an incredible march for the 30th ranked player in his class in the world. That number will go higher after this incredible performance. Yeah, and as we've seen so many players being noticed through this event, ending up at some of the premier college programs in the country. So Cole Kim headed in that direction. Yeah, the lead is seven with a hole to play. Back to the 14 to 15 note up. The Sterling Hurd at the par 5 18th. This for the lead. Making a great run. As we've seen players coming from this angle today, plenty of green to work with and does a nice job of handling that shot. So he'll have that to tie Golod. If he can make birdie at 18, Golod still the short par 4, 17th and 18th to go. Lot of drama in the boys, 14 to 15. Do you want to be the next national champion? Do you want to experience this big time atmosphere? Awesome course conditions. Players from around the world. TV cameras. The next year is your year. Registration is now open. For the 2023 short par four. Nota Begay Junior Golf National Championship. Register before January 1st for one of the regional tournaments. And you'll get a discounted rate. Go to jgnc.org and sign up today. One fun fact about me is my long red hair. The girls back home love my red locks. I've been growing my hair for two years straight. <laughs> Takes me a good 15 minutes to get my hair ready, make it look good. My family owns a restaurant. Uh, it's called Mario the Baker. Uh, and sometimes I help with my mom uh, tie garlic rolls. I've got the shortest commute out of anyone in the field this week. I live 45 minutes on the road. It's um, it's nice being home, being around my dogs, being around the family. I saw Jack Nicholas in Publix, the produce section, and it was really cool. He was super nice. I just said, Mr. Nicholas, what's up? How are you? My hero is Mr. Rogers, because he's really kind to everyone. I watched his movie, and it inspired me a lot, and I like to live my life like that. My brother is the person I look up to. He's at West Point. This is his first year. He's really brave, he stands up for what he believes in. If I can do that, then I think I can do a good job in life. 150 golfers, 150 great stories, including San Antonio's Levi Keith for Eagle at 18. Now it's our pleasure to welcome in the CEO of our title sponsor, shortpar4.com, Bobby DeMeo, sponsoring this incredible drivable short par four 17th hole. Bobby, how about the QR code left of your screen? What will that do for the junior golfer families out there? Yeah, Ryan, we're here to change the way these parents are buying golf apparel for their kids. Uh, scan the QR code, use code junior free, get your first package free and test us out. A moment ago, noted 17, go loud with a one shot lead. Yeah, this is the age group. These guys have enough pop in the bat to challenge this green off of the tee and you can see there just right in the opening going to have a great look for eagle all right the question will be what will the lead be when he takes that shot this is to tie the lead at seven under for sterling hurt and he converts so hurt and golod now tied at seven under now bobby certainly your decision to have the short par four 17th so late in the round, so much drama we'll see here and have seen here over the last three days. 
Why did shortpar4.com decide to get involved with this event? Well, Ryan, this is the future of golf, and it's exciting for us to watch these kids at such a young age, from 12 to 18, and uh, we get to basically watch their careers and see where they go from here. Now, Keith now for birdie at 18, Noda. We see this putt slide by. It's going to come back to his right. Ooh, just gave away the hole there, Ryan, and he is not going to be happy with that three-putt par. You know, Bobby, we know the game of golf can be so expensive, and I'll tell you, you see some of these kids that were here last year, how much they've grown from year to year. How can shortpar4.com help that process? Yeah, with the ability to go in and change your sizes at any given month, um, you know, from uh, all the different apparel, different accessories, clubs, gloves, all that stuff, um, we're able to change on a whim at any given time. Now back out with Cole Kim, our leader. Trying to go at this green in two. That was not a good swing, and you can see there, well short, didn't even come close to covering the water. When you have a big lead, you can give it a little bit of a chuckle. And that lead will shrink, but he has built himself an incredible lead. Kyler Heath now in the 12 to 13, it's seven under. I really love this hole, especially the last two holes, the drivable par four and the reachable 18th par five. Really gives players a chance to be aggressive, hit a shot under pressure, and uh, you see, well executed. All right, Golod now tied for the lead with Hurd at seven under. This is second at the short par four, 17th. Very slow, got to keep the pace up to get to the hole. Not bad there, should be able to clean that one up. Wow, he makes a huge bogey putt at 16. Now has that to retake the lead at the short par four, 17th. Back ahead at 18 with our defending champ. Sipe, you can see, needs to catch it clean to cover the water. He's talking to it, trying to coax it in there to catch a piece of the green, and it just does. Bobby, tell us a little bit about why these families watching right now and why the junior golfer out there need shortpar4.com in their life. Yeah, the game just got expensive. Um, we're here to help the parents. Uh, we're going to put money back in their pocket uh, for $49.95 they're gonna receive over $100 of retail value each and every month. And that's from apparel to gloves, accessories, hats, balls, you name it. Well, it is an incredible service to the junior golf community. Finn Meister does drop a shot at 17. Now ring camp, he'll have a chance to get at the six under. Anything possible with 18 looming nota. Just a great look right up the hill, and boy, it just drips off to the right. He's got to be scratching his head after that one. Now, our leader, Cole Kim, the lead is seven after he hits his second in the water. This from the drop zone. This is fourth shot coming from the far side of the lake. Still has to carry a big chunk of that water. Does a nice job finding the front part of the green. I'll tell you, note, I couldn't be more impressed with Cole Kim this week. Uh, every day, all three days, just in total command. Just the mindset and the attitudes these players have, they're so well trained and you're seeing it in their performance. Now Golod for the solo lead at the short par 417th. And that's what these short par fours can give you a chance for an easy birdie. More from shortpar4.com and what everyone that registers receives after this. Opened in 1995, Cachado Casino Resort boasts a 100,000 square foot gaming floor. But it's more than a casino. With luxurious accommodations, fabulous restaurants, the Res Sportsbook, a top ranked golf course, and a recently opened banquet and concert venue, Cachado aims to provide a full entertainment experience. We're not in the business of gaming, we're in the business of creating experiences. And we feel that we do an exceptional job at that, whether you want to play table games, whether you want to play some bet and race the sports book, whether you want to eat in one of our many fine dining rooms that we have. So it's a full experience that our guests are exposed to. But above all, the Cachada tribe's heritage is woven into the fabric of the facilities. To see the tribe's origins, their traditions embraced through Cachada Casino Resort, through this Cosati Pines golf course, it's a testament of perseverance. It shows how far our tribe has come.
Good morning and welcome to Crisati Pines Golf Course. The range is now open for practice. I often practice three to four times a week. Every day, daily, seven days a week. I'm considered a range rat at my home course. I, I can't get off the range. If it's rainy, just go inside. I don't really like taking days off. I feel weird if I don't get out there and grind and work on my game. I like to practice a lot, but every once in a while you have to take a day or two off. My favorite thing to practice is putting. Putting. I love to putt. Not many people enjoy it, and so I feel like if I practice that enough, then I can be really good at that. Players, Players good, luck good luck and have a great day. day. Find your vibe from the golf course to the beach. Enjoy your drinks cold and your music loud. Speaking of loud, Cole Kim has been very loud to the rest of the world with his play this week, 16 under Nota, the pride of La Crescenta, California. Well, just an incredible, impressive performance. Zero bogeys through the first two rounds, only one bogey up to this point against 17 birdies, so it is a dominating performance. Back now to the 14 to 15 division. Go Lod. One shot lead, one to play. Just have to keep this ball out of the water. And a lot of room up there and a quick pick of the tee. And that usually means that is gonna find the fairway. Doesn't even watch it land. That's how much confidence he has. Bring back in shortpar4.com CEO Bobby DeMeo. Bobby, for every player registering at jgnc.org to play an event on our 2023 schedule, what awaits each player from shortpar4.com? Yeah, Ryan, we're going to give each player a free gift, which is going to be a package to the junior membership at Short Par 4. Um, we know how expensive this game can be, and what better way to kick off your season than to receive a Short Par 4 junior membership package. That is incredible. We'll be at your door within a month of registering for any event on the 2023 schedule. The title sponsor, shortpar4.com, CEO Bobby DeMeo. Bobby, just uh, can't thank you enough for what you're doing for the game of golf and every junior player out there. Appreciate you guys having us. It's been an awesome week. Back on the course now, Noda with Finn Meister at his final hole. Yeah, trying to finish with a red number here, off to a good start, finding dead center of the fairway. And now Cole Kim. Not how he wanted his 54th hole to go, but nonetheless, what a week, Noda. Well, at this point, Ryan, I don't think it really matters. He knows he's going to be holding up a trophy and he's got to be very proud of his performance. And what a performance it is. The winner of the 2022 12 to 13 short par four, Noda Begay the third junior golf national championship presented by R1. It goes to Cole Kim at 15 under. Sipe there, put up a good fight, just not enough birdies on the card this week, and you can tell, very disappointed. And a past champion, Sipe, he and Cole will be going at it for a long time. Kyler Heath finishing up his round. And the 12 to 13 is in the books, year three. Cole Kim, the winner. An incredible wire-to-wire -wire performance, three rounds in the 60s. Congratulations to Darren Zhu, Austin Lee, top 10 performances. Everyone looking up at Cole Kim. Let's go back to the grounds. 18 and Will. 193 front, 220 hole. Just a whisper of wind up there. You can see the flag fluttering just, just ever so slightly. A tournament still hanging in the balance here. And look at that. He loves this shot. This could be the shot of his life, Ryan. Unbelievable, a one-shot lead, he goes for it. He'll have that for Eagle at 18 to clinch the biggest win of his career. Incredible. Beautiful replay here, twirling that club with authority. How do you follow that up, Noda? You stay aggressive, try and create a little magic of your own, but he's leaning just a little bit left of the green. Going to have a little work to do to get up and down. Great week for Luke, but all eyes on Misha Golod, who will look to join Cole Kim as our winner here in 2022. Cole caught up with Taylor Burr. 
Cole, you've played some impressive golf, 15 under overall, and now you've just won the biggest junior golf event of your life. Tell me, how does it feel? Um, it's a great opportunity for me, and it, it's such a big tournament, and winning this is uh, very exciting, and um, I'm looking forward to uh, playing more golf like this. So it's been a long four days here at Cachada. You've worked so hard the entire week. Tell me, what about your performance are you the most proud of? Um, I'm really proud of uh, my putting and how I, um, I just stayed calm and focused until the very end. And then um, it started out slow for a couple of days, but then I was able to um, drop some putts in later in the round. Great job. Congratulations. Thank you, Taylor. The California kid, Cole Kim, a dominating performance. One champion has been crowned. Three still to come from Cachada. Welcome back to the short par four. Nota began the third junior golf national championship presented by R1. Cole Kim, winner of the 12 to 13. 14 to 15 still to be decided. Let's head back to 18 green with Will. Finn now has, has a tricky little putt here. It's, a, it's about 35 feet. First three quarters of it is gonna be uphill. I've seen most of the putts coming from that part of the green missing to the low side. Now noted this from a moment ago, ring camp. A lot of options from that part of the course going with a lofted club and just jumps a little bit forward on him and runs out a tad too much. And now ring camp live. He should know the break here and did not get that online. So disappointing finish for ring camp. Yeah, rounds of 72, 66 and 70 for Luke. Still a very solid week. Ryan should be very proud of that performance. And now Finn Meister, he is able to tap in. Rounds of 65, 71, and 74. And now the stage is set. The cameras are out. Misha Golot from Ukraine. Just facing so many things in his life and just an amazing performance. And he caps it with an eagle three. What a finish. Golod wins the 14 to 15 division. On, he saw the lead shrink away, found himself tied for the lead with two holes to play. Birdie at 17, eagle at 18. Plays his final two holes at three under. What a way to finish. And I think we just saw an emerging star in the game of golf. Great finish for sure. Been a great week in the 14 to 15 age division. Sam Feeney, solid week. Jackson Cook, Grayson Sebastian, Matthew Wilson played some great golf, but everyone looking up at Misha Gola. He's with Taylor now. Misha, you had a one shot lead heading to 18. You make it eagle to win by three. Take me through the hole. Yeah, I mean, 18 is a birdie hole. I know it all week. I know it since the practice round of already the first two days. So first things first, hit the fairway. Really good drive, really good. I mean, three wood down the middle of the fairway. Had a four iron in from 220 out into the wind. Chose to go for it. That's the only right play in my opinion. Probably had the best shot of my life. Uh, got a nice little club twirl on it. Four iron to like five feet. Make the putt for eagle. It was really nice. You were able to get out of Ukraine when the war started. Your parents, family, friends, everyone's still there. What's the message you like to send to home? Uh, obviously, I love my family. I love all my friends, and I'll, uh, I love my country. And uh, I hope this win can uh, give some light on, on everything happening back home. What does it mean to you to win the short par four Nota Begay the Third Junior Golf National Championship presented by R1? Uh, it's probably the biggest win of my life so far. It, I mean, it's awesome. Obviously, I play really good. I brought my A game this week. Um, I mean, yeah, it's definitely the biggest one ever won. Pretty incredible, Nota. Kid's been through a lot. Well, that's what we're here to do is provide opportunity for kids around the world and around the country to come here, showcase their talent, and now everybody knows who this kid is.
This championship is super special because of the course and all of the amazing participants. The leaderboard is incredible. Great players, great people, and I'm very happy to be in this tournament for a third year in a row. I love playing in this event because I have a lot of friends here and every year I meet new friends. The field is tough, it's a great environment, the course is phenomenal, um, so just overall just good vibes. Probably the, the fact that it's broadcasted on TV. Not many people that get to be on Golf Channel at this age, and so I think it's really cool. Just the, the cameras, the atmosphere, and the way they run it. It's the most official tournament I've ever played in. There's not much out there like it. It's a very unique event. The atmosphere is just like a PJ Tour event. I mean, out of the two or three events that I've been to, they treat us like royalty here. I think Noda really cares about the players, and not just him, but the, the sponsors too. I think they really put a lot of effort and time into this. Welcome back to the short par four. Nota Begay the third junior golf national championship presented by R1. Ryan Burr alongside four time PGA Tour winner Nota Begay, his Stanford teammate that won the national championship, Will Yanagasawa Taylor Burr conducting the interviews. Some great action in the 10 and 11 division. Bento Assis from Brazil. Well, you can just see the reach of this championship. We got players now coming from all around the world. Hudson Justice from Gainesville, Georgia. Greens rolling so pure. Players able to pick up on the speeds and the reads and knock down some putts. Richard Ding can do it all. That lies down like an old dog in front of the fire. Ah, beautifully executed there. How about the emotion, Noda? You think this means anything to these kids? Boy, they really enjoy this championship. We try and treat them like PGA Tour pros, and they come out here and they play like PGA Tour pros. Yeah, Colton Johnson, a little fist pump. Class of 2030, Luke on. That's incredible, Ryan. 2030, that's a long way off, but I promise you some of these kids are already on these college coaches' radar. Yeah, like our long drive champion, Caden Levian, showing the putter works as well. Great fist pump there, a lot of excitement and emotion from these players. How about this golf swing? Nobody goes for this in two, Noda. Nobody reaches this in two, but this guy's got the power. Yeah, Chase Hughes, amazing. He started with eight straight pars, but makes birdie at the difficult ninth. And Leo Saito here coming off a huge 64 yesterday, struggling up to this point. Uh, maybe that will jumpstart the day. 36 hole leader, a four shot lead is gone, but a birdie there to nine under. The guy that is taking advantage and his track down Saito is this guy, Nate Horn from Fayetteville, North Carolina. And it's the putter that is cooperating today. Mid-range birdie look there, goes down. Horn putting the pressure on Saito from the start of the round. Yeah, Green's receptive, especially with the short iron, gets it to come underneath the hole. Perfect place to look at birdie. From four back to start the day, this for the solo lead. Nate Horn, his dad on his bag. Great optimism, personality, perseverance, and a one-shot lead with four holes to play. We already know 17 and 18. Anything can happen at the short par four and the par five 18. Now let's check in on the 16 to 18 division. Eric Yoon from California. We saw a lot of players taking dead aim at this whole location. You know different. Green's very receptive, just gets it to cover that bunker, gets a nice kick forward, and that'll be a good birdie look. Yeah, Yoon with a top 10 performance a year ago. This is Tyson Sparks to get it to six under. Ball ending up just left of the hole. Boy, that went in with some authority. Matt Maloney. Played on the Junior President's Cup team for you, Noda. And it was a wonderful experience. American side overcame a three-point deficit in the singles matches. And Matt Maloney was so proud to be part of that team. And he's showcasing exactly why he's one of the top players in America coming here to Cachata and putting on some great golf. Oh, what a shot there. Maloney was one back to start the day. 
What I've found is, is uh, sleeping on the lead isn't really difficult, or sleeping in contention at least isn't really difficult, but uh, waking up to it is. Um, knowing that you gotta go out and perform that day, um, that's tough. And he is performing well today. That one shot deficit has turned into a two shot lead over Yoon, four over Sparks and Betancourt. Ramil Salem from Thailand is now five back. Let's get back out live to the final group in 10 to 11. No to they're at 15. Yeah, Horn been chasing the lead for most of the event until now. Has to play with the lead and does a nice job of finding the green. And yeah, safely on. So Horn now a one shot lead. Chase Hughes is just two back. And when you're running out of holes, Hughes is forced to shoot at these flag sticks. Oh, big time. Just with the doctor ordered, Hughes will have that to pull within one. Now Saito misses the fairway. He's one back. Yeah, trying to collect himself. Had a nice lead headed in today. Lost it, chipped in just on the previous hole and still keeping the pressure on. So all three players safely aboard at 15. Back to 16 and 18. Yoon's two back. Bunker and water are in play here. Does not like that. Pierce that he has pulled it just a bit and that is the case bit of a long look now and a 14 with our leader matt maloney from off the green that's going to work just a little bit to matt's right see if it hangs in there oh just a little short he'll tap that in for his par and the lead will stay at two Tyson Sparks is four shots back, running out of time, but does have 16, 17. This is the par three. And as you said, Ryan, he is running out of time, has to make something happen. There's not enough holes left for him to make any mistakes. That's a great start. He'll have that for birdie. Can Sparks make a late run? Now back to the 10 and 11. The leader's at 15. Horn up the hill for birdie. Keep the speed up, just cozy it in there, Nate. Oh, that's a bit of a mistake right there. A little bit of an opening now for the guys that are trying to catch him. Axel Monso, not out of it yet, but he needs a birdie here at 17, Nota. Yeah, a little bit of a mid-range look here. Not great with the wedge shot on his approach and unable to get that to go down. So Axel will have that for his par. Now back to Saito. Coming from just past the hole, going to work toward the front of the green. Possibly a two shot swing if this goes. Oh, that was a good look. Just a little bit low on the read. Now Luke on. You see a lot of the players in this 10-11 not able to reach the 17th. So coming in with wedges. Wow, great putt. Now, Horn, this is a huge par putt, Noda. Yeah, these putts get a little bit tougher when you're trying to hold the lead, and man, he walks that one in. What a beautiful stroke. Yeah, that was, you could see, he knows exactly how much that par save means. So the lead will stay at one through 15. Hughes with a birdie, so things tightening up. What a leaderboard it is in 10 to 11. Hughes and Saito, one off a of horn's lead. Do you want to be the next national champion? Do you want to experience? This big time atmosphere. It's a lot of fun. When you're treated like a pro. Registration is now open. For the 2023 Short Part 4. Nota Begay Junior Golf National Championship. Register before January 1st for one of the regional tournaments. And you get a discounted rate. Go to jgnc.org. And sign up today. I'll see you next year. For each participant in the field, competition began with the closest to the pin contest, presented by Wilson Irons. At Wilson, one of our core values is a better life through sport. And I was at the par three all day talking to kids. 
We're a very approachable brand. We like to be out with consumers and, and seeing people in all our sport. Staged on Casati Pines, 19th hole. Each player took their turn at the 89-yard shot with the new Wilson Triad golf ball. This is where the best players come to play. This is where the future is growing. We're giving as much data as possible, so every kid has a different swing, different angle of attack, and as much data as we can collect, we can analyze that and then make a better product for the consumer. And this is just a great venue to put our brand right in front of some of the best kids in the world, watch them hit our balls, watch them try our wedges, and see the results. Each division champ took home three custom stamp staff model wedges from Wilson Sporting Goods. Matt Maloney will be first to play. 177 to the hole, pin 22 on and six from the right. He's come up and out of that, it's a miss to the right. Yeah, and talking to Matt this week through two rounds, struggling with the irons a bit. And an opening for the likes of Tyson Sparks. Chance to pull within three, maybe even closer with Maloney struggling. And brushes it in. As we welcome in the founder of the Junior Golf Hub, Roger Nick. Roger back for third consecutive year now with the Nota Begay and all of our events all over the country. Certainly this year, as always, getting kids in position to be found and play college golf is always the mission of the Junior Golf Hub. Yeah, Ryan, thanks for uh, having me on. It's always exciting to be here. It's uh, great to be involved in uh, the mission that you and Noda have uh, laid out for NB3 National Championship. A moment ago, Eric Yoon to stay two back of Maloney. And he'll drop a shot, Noda. Coming from just hole high, and a lot of these players can benefit, Roger, from the services and evaluation and all the data collection. Uh, what's the biggest opportunity for junior golfers in, in using the hub? Yeah, Noda, I think that's a great question. Uh, one of the things that, as you know, uh, throughout the year uh, with NB3 and the regional championships, every player was going through a self-assessment. And that's to help us understand and, and collect data from all the players to then actually come back and give players better information on what they may need to do to actually improve uh, and, and hopefully get their game to where they want it to be for the next level. That was Chase Hughes at 16. He is one back of our leader, Nate Horn, Noda. Nate, not a lot of breathing room right now. He's got to keep the pressure on. Beautiful shot there. Yeah, so both players will have a putt for birdie. We move back to 15, 16 to 18. Maloney. This short game's been stellar all week for Matt. It's actually what's allowed him to maintain this lead. He won't be happy with that effort, though. So another opening in the 16 to 18 division. Back now to 16. This is Saito, one off the lead of Horn. Well, in this younger age group, it is anybody's ball game, and he came out of that one. And that will find the bunker. Yeah, so two on the green, a Saito short in the bunker. Three players within a shot of the lead of Horn. Now 16 to 18. The pride of Thailand, Ramil Salem. He'll play his college golf at Oregon, Roger. And you're starting to see these players take advantage of not only the Junior Golf Hub, but this event being on television. And that's really the reason we went to Thailand this June was to go find Thailand's best that otherwise don't know a whole lot about the education system in the United States, give an opportunity to not only play on television, but get enrolled with the Junior Golf Hub. Absolutely. Uh, Ryan, that's, I think that's one of the biggest things that we want to make sure that we do with the Junior Golf Hub is uh, to get more exposure for players who may not uh, primarily be playing in some of the best events. Uh, obviously, uh, NB3 National Championship is a great event. They're going to get great exposure on TV, but you know the Junior Golf Hub is there to to help you know hopefully boost boost some of these kids' opportunities to get uh, get seen and noticed by college uh, coaches. We just saw Chris Betancourt tap in his par putt, so a little bit of a struggle for him today. Maloney now see if he can pay off that pitch shot there and knock this down for par. Huge putt. And wow, great putt. At this stage in the game, those are crucial. You want to make those. You don't want to 
give away a shot at this stage. So with Yoon losing a shot, Maloney saves his par. Back now, 10 and 11. Saito, this to save par. Well, not a well-played hole for Saito. Pour off the tee, poor second, and not a great third. And a shake of the head, so much pressure on these 10 and 11 year olds. Mom on the bag, great attitude. Keeping the young man's spirits up. Now Horn, one shot lead. Speaking of that, you know, the parents on the bags is so critical and so fun to watch. See Horn here, his lost speed as well. Ryan, you can probably sense that there's a lot more pressure facing these young men than what they're normally used to. Well, Roger, just think about it. The television cameras everywhere, plus the magnitude of trying to win a national championship. Absolutely. Nerve wracking. I don't think I could do it. Chase used to tie. This is on the low side, so he'll stay one back of Horn as he taps in. Meanwhile, Yoon at the short par four drivable 17th. This for birdie. Yeah, this coming from the back part of the green, and you can see that was a miss hit from the start. Comes up well short. A lot of work left now for his par. Now back to the final group at 16. 158 to cover the bunker on the right. No wind to speak of. Yes, coming up about a half a club short, so a lot of work left now. Not sure if that's buried. Now Tyson needs this. Ooh, that was a critical miss. Beautiful putt on the previous hole. Unable to convert this one, which he needed. Back at 16 with Betancourt. He's got to make something happen, Nota. He really does. Go. Be good. Go. You can hear him begging, and oh. sometimes begging pays off, Ryan. That ball listens on occasion. That could be a huge birdie putt for Bentoncourt. And now ready for the announcement of the 2023 Boys Regional Schedule. Go to jgnc.org to register today. Find yourself playing on television next year at Cachata. And I know Noda so proud of all the Native American owned properties we play at. Oh, we had so many partners across the country step up and support our events, support what we stand for. The Agua Caliente Band of Cahulia Indians in Southern California, Mashantucket Pequots, all the way up into the northeast part of the country. Wonderful support. And Noda will be heading north of the border in 2023. Thanks to our partnership with Dixon Golf, we'll be playing qualifier events in Canada. Check us out at jgnc.org. And then a regional final in Canada where they'll send players directly to Cachata in 2023. Back live now with Nate Horn at 17. One shot lead, 10 to 11 division. Coming right from the center of the fairway, dialing in a short wedge and going to have a great look for three. This kid's wedges have been unbelievable under pressure today. Now Saito at 17. Losing a little bit of control coming out of this rough. Got to play for the ball to run out just a bit. You can tell he's not very happy with the way things are going right now. This is Hughes, also one back. Oh, how about that, Roger? What a great shot that was. One back, you pull that off. And what a finish we are set up for. Meanwhile, up ahead at the par 5 18 with Axel Monso. Ball could not be in a better position. All the way up just to the edge of the rough. And easily finds a green in two. And Monso will have a great opportunity to take the clubhouse lead in the 10 to 11. A lot still to be decided at Cachata.
Upper Hand Golf was created to improve the way you practice golf and help you start shooting lower scores. Upper Hand Golf, easy to use. Just play your normal round of golf, track your results in the custom stats booklet. Golf performance, enhancing software to unleash your potential. Matt Maloney coming up a little bit short here on the par 3 16th. If he's able to get a good stance here, I would think this is a shot that he'll be able to get enough club on the ball, get it up close. Not a bad effort, kind of a little bit more run out than he wanted. A little misjudgment there on the lie. A lot of work left to do. But a three shot lead to work with. Meanwhile, 10 to 11, it is still Nate Horn by one over Chase Hughes, who has a makeable birdie putt. This is Axel Monso at 18 for Eagle. And Roger, one of the cool things about 2022, every kid that played a regional event on the NB3 band filled out their PDI self-assessment. I know this is something that the Junior Hub is really building to help young golfers. Tell us why. Yeah, it's so important to be able to collect that data and information on players to understand where they are and, and what uh, challenges they're, they're coming into. Just a moment ago from Luke on. Yeah, so being able to get that uh, information is so critical for understanding the grid, uh, grid scale and growth mindset information because that, that's uh, the intangible that you, that's not being measured for these young golfers, and we're seeing that on display here this week. Great week for Maverick Midthun. Finishes things off at six under Nota. And Roger, you know, I've personally taken a PDI assessment, player development index test myself. And what I love about the entire system is it not only tells you where you're at in terms of the various elements of the game, the mental side, the physical side, the technical side, short game, but you give a specific set of instructions on how to get better. And I think that's what junior golfers are looking for is this not just so much, okay, my scores aren't where they want them to be, but how do I improve? This is Axel now to finish off his round with birdie. Great week for Monceau. Yeah, so no, that's and you coming through it uh, has been an incredible help to us. Obviously, getting your feedback as a as a top tier player is, is unbelievable. So Luke on also a week he'll remember with a 63, 74, 71, eight under for Luke on. We go back to the 16 to 18 with Betancourt for birdie. Chris Bencord now, 300 par, four shots back. He's had a great shot in there. That's a huge putt, Will. And this is where you, you just really never know in competitive golf. It's never over till it's over. You just have to keep grinding it out. Three off the lead. Now back in the 10 to 11 division, Nate Horn clinging to a one-shot lead over Chase Hughes, two from Saito. This is Saito to pull within one nota. This is that time you need something to happen. You got to make it happen and you got to get it to the hole if it's going to go in. So he'll stay two back, Maloney to save his par. Yeah, critical putt here for Matt. And man, is that putter bailing him out today? Look at that, he's excited. Wow, that may have just won him the golf championship. What a huge putt. For Matt Maloney from Daniel Island, South Carolina, he'll play his college golf at Georgia. What in a competitive nature. The individual aspect of golf, competing at least, um, is really what I like. I don't like um, having to re rely on other people to, to um, you know, lift me up. And I, I like, uh, I just like trying to beat other people. So it's fun for me. Back at Live at 17, Roger, and certainly for everyone, all the junior players and families watching that are interested in the Junior Golf Hub, a self-assessment, helping them prepare for the college game. How do they go about getting it done and getting signed up with the Hub? Absolutely. Get on the JuniorGolfHub.com. Go on, sign up, get a profile, uh, fill out your self-assessment, uh, and be ready to look for our schedule uh, in the near future on our uh, coach-guided assessments. Roger, can't thank you enough for this partnership over the last three years. Uh, it's an incredible service that the Hub uh, does for all these players around the country. Thanks as always. Thank you, it's been a pleasure. Thank you and uh, Noda. So back at 18 with Yoon, as everyone's reaching this hole in two today, Noda. Yeah, we saw Horn clean up that par put on the previous hole. Now Yoon 
reaching the green in two. Hughes trying to take advantage of that great second, and uh, that was not his best effort wow. today. That was to tie the lead, so he'll make par and stay one back. One back, one to play. 10 to 11, comes down to the par 5, 18. Our sponsors make this great championship possible. Thanks, Short Par 4. Thanks, R1 Companies. Thanks, Cachada Resort. Thanks, Wilson. Thanks, Junior Golf Hub. We appreciate you supporting us. To wrap up the practice round day, Wilson Sporting Goods hosted a putting challenge. Players qualified throughout the day for the opportunity to compete in the finals as a 100-foot putt awaited them under the lights on the Casati Pines putting green. I look for subjective feedback quite a bit. Sometimes it doesn't always correlate between performance and subjective, but it's subjective is how you buy products and then you combine that with the ball itself and you have a soft feeling, consistent roll off the face every single time. And the putting challenge has just been spectacular. This year we didn't get anyone sinking the 100 footers, but we had some really good putts out there. Obviously give them a chance to experience our putter and our golf ball, the staff model putter was in play. We're excited about where our brand is, but the biggest excitement at Wilson is about where we're going. But in a twist, one wild card putter was selected from the crowd. The winner of each division went home with a new staff model putter from Wilson Sporting Goods. Tight leaderboard, 16 to 18. Maloney by three over three, including Chris Betancourt, who is heading to the short par four, 17th hole. We encourage you to shoot the QR code. Claim your free gift from shortpar4.com. Betancourt. Yeah, this was where it can get really interesting, Ryan. Come on! All the players in the older boys section can reach this green, so there could be a big turnaround if someone's able to come out of here with a deuce. Yeah, just 306 yards up ahead at 18. A disappointing par putt for Sparks. He drops it. It's a big week for him. Listen, top 10 at this event is a great accomplishment. Absolutely, got a handful of high, high quality players here, all trying to hoist the trophy in, in the short period. Back Ramil at the short par 417th. He's driven it every day. Lot of speed. Yeah, great player, great find for University of Oregon coach Casey Martin, who just recently signed Ramil to a scholarship, so he will be headed to Eugene to play for the Ducks. And he'll have that for Eagle at the short par 417th. You now. And two years in a row, Eric has played really solid golf here. Disappointed with the putter on the back nine here in the final round. Yeah, expecting that putt to come a little to his left and just shoved it just a touch. 68, 71, 70 for Eric Yoon, four under par. Now our leader, Matt Maloney, also with driver. I like that play, stay aggressive. You just don't want to go left here. Anything short, hole high to the right is just fine. Oh, Maloney hits a dime. Beautiful tee shot. So Maloney and Ramil both able to drive the green here at the short par four 17th. The lead is three over three. Meanwhile, 10 to 11 Nota, things have gotten extremely tight. The 18th hole, the lead is one for Horn. Oh, this is as tight as it gets. You find out what you're made of when you play under this kind of pressure. Horn leaning in, just covers the water on the green. That is a long way away though, Noda. That is, that is gonna be a difficult two putt. Meanwhile, Hughes, one back. Yeah, the longest player in this age group. Nice. Easily able to reach, and that is hole high, and that is a makeable eagle putt. Wow. Well, 17 and 18 provide just incredible action. Now remember, an eagle for Saito would tie the lead. Yeah, don't count him out. 
but he does not like that swing, so still has a chance, can still chip it in from there. And note, just a reminder, if you want to be seen playing on Golf Channel in 2023, only one place to go. Do you want to be the next national champion? Do you want to experience this big time atmosphere? And then come to beautiful Cosati Pines. You can be as young as me, all the way up to 18. Registration is now open for the 2023 Short Par 4. Nota Begay Junior Golf National Championship. Register before January 1st for one of the regional tournaments. And you'll get a discounted rate. Go to jgnc.org. And sign up today. U.S. Performance Academy serves grades 6 through 12. We're a fully independent, accredited, NCAA-approved school for high-performance athletes. We offer a full school experience, so we can customize through our flexibility an entire curriculum based on a customized learning path. So in other words, you can come in as a ninth grader, we'll design a learning program and pathway for you to graduate with us and then on to college. In some cases, it's Olympics or professional. They can train, go to school whenever they'd like, but also be on the course, be training, be working with coaches any time of day and not have to worry about missing classes, missing coursework. We can customize and start and stop school whenever they need to to fit their model. You're dealing with an incredibly high level of golfer when these kids are on the course just watching practice rounds. That requires a ton of time. Our flexibility and support combined with the talent level that's out here this week is it's pretty special. Chris Bentcourt will be first to play. He's going to need to go over a rise midway through this putt. It's going to break a little bit right to left off that rise. Three back. This for Eagle. Uh, did not judge the pace well. Todd got a chance to talk to his dad, John Bentcourt, who played his collegiate golf at Fresno State. So getting some good feedback from old pops there throughout the week. All right, back to 10 and 11 now. We are at the final hole, the 54th hole. This is a really tough two putt for Nate Horn. One shot lead, this for Eagle. And that has got to slow down Ryan with Hughes hole high for his Eagle. The pressure is on. Back to 16 to 18 at 17. Salim's putt is more on the right side of the screen. He won't have to contend with that rise in the middle. Poor effort, does not like it. Back at 18 now. Chase Hughes. Noted this is for Eagle and at least a guarantee of a tie. Yeah, and when you're trying to close in on the lead there, that is not how you would like to approach the putt. You'd like to see a little more run out, get it past the hole, give it a chance to go in. So Hughes now needs a birdie make and a horn miss. Back to 17. Maloney with a three-shot lead. This would just about end it. Trying to take advantage of that stellar tee shot, and that is a less than stellar effort for Maloney. Still a little bit of green left to navigate. So all three players in the final group a little tentative. Now Saito, this for an incredible up and down for Birdie. Oh, yeah. Wow. And that caps off just a wonderful week. I know he had the lead coming in, did not play his best golf today, but still has to be proud of his performance. Yeah, follows up that 64 with a 74, 10 under a lot for the Hawaii kid to be proud about his performance this week at Kishada. Now Betancourt. He'll be the first to putt at 17. This putt does come just a touch left. Just laid it out a little too high. Good speed, though. Now at 18. This is Nate Horn for the win. Hey. Nate Horn has done it. A birdie at the last. Horn gets to 12 under and wins the 10 to 11 division. And Ryan, that is really how you capitalize on some great play this week. Now 
back at 17. Maloney to grow his lead to four. No harm done there, Ryan. Still has a big lead. Going to take something special and a Maloney mistake at 18. Winning golf tournaments is not easy, ladies and gentlemen. He will head to 18, though, with a healthy lead for sure. Chase Hughes makes the birdie at the last. But it was Nate Horn's day. He makes birdie at 18 to win the short par four. Nota Begay the third junior golf national championship presented by R1. Three champions have been crowned. Still one to play here on Golf Channel. For the first time, the girls will compete in four divisions at the short par four, Nota Begay the third Junior Golf National Championship, presented by R1, part of the Peggy Kirk Belt Girls Golf Tour, on Golf Channel, tomorrow at 7. Matt Maloney with the hybrid, going for the green in two. Sounded like some nice contact there. See if he gets it to cover and carry the right yardage. Boy, he might have been a little pumped up on that second. That carried long way. Well, the only thing he couldn't do, Noda, was put it in the water. Chris Bentoncourt now, 208 to the flag. Wind completely still. He absolutely needs to make a three here, Ryan. Even trying to break that tie would go a long way for Chris. And he will have a crack at Eagle. Been a tough final round for Ramil, but you know, I got to hand it to all these kids from Thailand. They uh, came a long, long way. Had to get acclimated to a completely different time change, climate, and environment. Great job by Ramil. And a great job by Nate Horn. Started the day four shots out of the lead. Walks away with the short par four. Nota Begay the third junior golf national championship presented by R1. Standing by with Taylor. Nate, you were four shots back to start the day. How were you able to overcome such a huge deficit? Uh, overnight when I slept, I knew I had confidence in myself and belief that I could come back and win. And through the first couple holes, I was right back in it. Incredible drama on 18. You needed a birdie to win. Take me through the hole. I hit a smooth shot down the fairway and I knew being only one shot ahead on the last hole, I knew I had to hit a good shot going for the green and two, and I did to about 60, 70 feet, and I lagged it up there to about 10 feet, and I made the putt. And what does it mean to you to win the short par four, Nota Begay the third Junior Golf National Championship presented by R1? It's great. With everybody being here, it's, it's wonderful with all the cameras, and it's being on Golf Channel. Congratulations. Uh, thanks, Taylor. Congratulations indeed to Nate. What a day it has already been. One last champion to be crowned. Nota, this from a moment ago from Matt Maloney. Yeah, the only thing he doesn't need to do is hit it over into the water, and he should be able to wrap this one up. Just a solid week of play for Matt, fending off all the challengers. Now back live, Betancourt for Eagle. And these putts here, Ryan, the way these tournaments finish, they matter. You know, anytime you can crawl out of a tie or pass a couple players in the last few holes, even though you can't win, really build your confidence. You know, he's done just that. This was a great performance for him, and a top five will go a long way for Betancourt. And represented North California very well this week. Sell him now for his eagle attempt, choosing to take putter off the fringe, about 35 feet. 
as he nestles that one up there. And Ryan, this happens every year. Players that make it to Kashad and play in our national championship are unseen and unheard. And Ramil falls into that category, headed to Oregon. And I'm excited to see him tee it up for the Ducks. Speaking of excited, next week, don't miss the PNC Championship on Golf Channel and NBC. Playing for a third consecutive year, Charlie and Tiger Woods will join the Dailies, the Spice, and many more only on Golf Channel and NBC. Meanwhile, Bettencourt looking to finish off the day with a little tap in birdie to get it to five under. And as Maloney settles in, I can't say enough good things about this young man. Was one of 12 players that represented the United States at the Junior President's Cup. I was honored to be his captain and he just demonstrated a tremendous amount of character and provided inspiration to our team and coming here to represent himself and do me a favor by playing in this event. And now he's gonna walk off with the big handmade pine needle basket from the Cachada community. And I'm just couldn't be more proud of him. And add his name to what is already an incredible list of alumni. Uh, Brendan Valdez, our year one winner, has already won a college event at Auburn. Ramil will play his college golf for Casey Martin at Oregon. <laughs> Think about that. We found Ramil in June playing in Bangkok, Thailand. He's now at Kashada playing in the national championship and will accept a scholarship to play in the Pac-12 at Oregon. Maloney. 70, 67, 69. You talked about that putter able to come through in the clutch. And Matt Maloney wins the 16 to 18. Matt, one of the highest ranked players in the country and coming here and proving just why he's ranked so high and piecing together some fine golf. Yeah, great week for a lot of players on that leaderboard. Nothing to hang their head at. But the winner is Matt Maloney. He's with Taylor. You were one shot back to start the day, then you win by two. How'd you do it? Uh, it wasn't easy. I was on the first, even things out, but uh, after checking the leaderboard on, I think, 15, I think I saw it was two back and then trying to throw it away. But uh, yeah, just, just digging deep and uh, making sure I got everything out of it, yeah. So Noda was the captain of your Junior President's Cup team. What does it mean to you to win his tournament? It, it means everything. He was, he was really the best to us that week. He, uh, you know, little little short game tips around the green, little um, uh, little tips around the course, and uh, showing us uh, course management things and boost morale in the team room. Um, he was there for us, so I wanted to be there for him when he asked us to show up. So it, it means a lot. Congratulations. Thank you. What a week it has been! The All Boys Final, year number three at the short par four, Nota Begay the third Junior Golf National Championship, presented by R1. Matt Maloney, the champion. The short par four, Nota Begay the third Junior Golf National Championship presented by R1 Companies. Real estate reimagined. Powered by Wilson, the original golf brand since 1914. Cachada Casino and Resort, Louisiana's best bet. A pretty incredible 11 months ago, this championship started with some 5,000 kids all trying to make it here to the championship nota. The play today, absolutely stellar. What are your thoughts? Well, and seeing all these fine, talented players go about their business on the golf course the last few days has really been inspirational to me. It means what we're doing is working, and I'm really inspired by everything that's happened thus far. Yeah, incredible drama down the stretch for sure. When Noda and I had this vision to bring a junior golf event to television, national television, give these incredible kids a platform where everyone could watch them play. Noda, I'd say it's working out. Doing a great job. If you have the interest in playing at a high level and you're not being seen, this is the place you can play your way into because it's open to everybody. Indeed. So go to jgnc.org right now jgnc.org the 2023 schedule is up and who knows maybe next year you're standing right here with one of these trophies as a national champion for everyone at the short par four Nota Begay the third junior golf national championship presented by r1 we'll see you next year at, at Cushada. Cushada. <laughs>
From the first day I stepped in, I knew I would heed the call. I was destined for glory, rise above and never fall. This is the moment I've waited for. I was born to win.